What is Earned Value Management? As per guide to PMBOK, Earned Value Management, EVM, is a methodology that combines scope, schedule, and resource measurements to assess project performance and progress. Simply put, Earned Value Management is used to measure the project performance. Earned Value Management uses an integrated baseline for performance measurement. Scope baseline is combined with cost baseline along with schedule baseline. Planned value always lies on the budget at completion BAC line. Actual cost of project can be more or less than planned value. Earned value can be more or less than planned value. If actual costs fall under budget at completion curve, it means planned value is equal to actual cost, which means it is as per the plan. If earned value falls under budget at completion curve, it means earned value is equal to planned value, which means it is as per plan. Let's recap. How much work did you plan to complete? It is determined by planned value. How much work did you actually complete? It is determined by earned value. How much did it cost to complete the work? Actual cost. It is determined by actual cost. Application. A project team lead, Dennis, has to complete work in five days. The overall work was planned to cost $10,000. The current day is the third day and time is 6 p.m. The status is as follows. Work completed, 40%. Actual amount spent, $3,500. Find out the project performance. Solution. Budget at completion. BAC equals $10,000. Actual cost, AC equals $3,500. Planned value, PV equals $6,000. Earned value, EV equals BAC times actual work equals 10,000 times 40 divided by 100 equals $4,000. Schedule variance, SV equals EV minus PV equals 4,000 minus 6,000 equals minus 2,000. Cost variance, CV equals EV minus AC equals 4,000 minus 3,500 equals 500. Schedule performance index, SPI equals EV divided by PV equals 4,000 divided by 6,000 equals 4 divided by 6 equals 0.67. Cost Performance Index, CPI, equals EV divided by AC equals 4,000 divided by 3,500 equals 1.14. The SPI of this project is less than 1, which means that the project is behind schedule. The CPI of this project is greater than 1, which means the project is within budget. Next steps. Dennis might want to use crashing to compress the project schedule. Dennis may put more resources to cover up for the time. This may require more money, but the project has a good CPI. Let's summarize. Cost Performance Index. While calculating Cost Performance Index, there could be three situations. Let us see. If actual cost is greater than earned value, cost variance is negative and cost performance index is less than one. It is a bad situation, which means that the project is spending more than planned. Another situation can be when actual cost is equal to earned value. In this case, cost variance is equal to zero and cost performance index is equal to one. It means that everything is going as per the plan and the project is on budget. Third situation can be when actual cost is less than earned value. In this case, cost variance is positive and cost performance index is greater than one. It is a good situation where the project is spending less than planned. Schedule Performance Index. While calculating schedule performance index, there could be three situations. Let us see. If planned value is greater than earned value, schedule variance is negative and schedule performance index is less than one. It is a bad situation, which means the project is behind schedule. Another situation can be when planned value is equal to earned value. 
In this case, schedule variance is equal to zero and schedule performance index is equal to one. It means that everything is going as per the plan and the project is on schedule. Third situation can be when planned value is less than earned value. In this case, schedule variance is positive and schedule performance index is greater than one. It is a good situation where the project is ahead of schedule. Earned value management, key points. An index of less than one is always bad. A negative variance is bad too. Tricks to remember SPI, CPI, SV, and CV formulae. What you need to know is, earned value always comes first or in the numerator value of the formula. In the schedule formulae, planned value is the other component part from earned value. In the cost formulae, actual cost is the other component apart from earned value.